<laughs> I'm going to solve every roundabout in the history of the universe to the glory of the great I am. Well, look at it yourself. The ABT equals I am, and then the rest is double love equals worship I am, like the greatest commandment. Worship the great I am in roundabout, as in a traffic circle. And if you're really good, I just realized the traffic circle also parallels I am. The rivers flow around the rocks, everything in nature flows and curves. Roundabouts really are uh, the most satisfying natural way to deal with traffic. And um, I've always loved roundabouts. New Zealand is awesome for roundabouts, but it's pretty awesome. The, the ABT in about equals I am. And then uh, you have love at the center of, at the front of round, R-O-U, and then the N-D-O-U left over is another love. So roundabout equals worship I am equals I am plus double love. I'm going to keep going. Other words that came to me the other day, UPS, United Partial Service. UPS in the sovereignty of God parallels I am perfectly. Just like the word USA. USA, USA. The first letter divides by three, followed by two plus ones, just like I am. Uh, in fact, UPS equals the I am. And this gets even better because it stands for United Parcel Service, which do the math on that whole set of letters, and that parallels I am perfectly. Done. UPS, I am. Uh, Dyson, the company, I saw Dyson um, fan that, uh, you know, air dries your hands at the gym. Dyson equals Christ equals I am love. They're a very good company. They do a lot of neat uh, air products. Dyson, the DS is I am, the Y-O-N is love. The word connect equals Christ is I am. Everyone wants to connect. <laughs> How can I connect with God? Well, you need to confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Connect equals Christ. So connector equals the Christ, because OR adds the to the part. But connect um, is so, yeah, 18 plus, or no, excuse me, connect equals Jesus, equals Gematria, equals Great I Am. It parallels Christ perfectly. But um, it's so beautiful. Connect, the dead, everyone wants to connect. Most of all, you want to connect with God. Um, people are always complaining about their human relationships. They're always trying to get more from their human relationships, and it leads to a lot of frustration. But God is limitless. God will never let you down. God always has more to give you when you're in need. So connect with God. Like That's your most important relationship, bar none, by a factor of infinity. So connect has 33 at the dead center, and then I am at the book end. So you got the I am, and then the O-C, Beautiful threes. The I am. This gets even better because the OC bump with 33 at center up to great. So connect equals great I am equals Gematria equals Jesus. So um, I draw, I, I, in the sovereignty of God, I ride a bike made by Trek. That's a revelation from God that Trek, okay, has I am at the center. In fact, uh, Trek equals love. If you're really good, which we are, we will, you, I will preach that Trek is a triple I am. And this is how this works. The T is I am minus three. The R E is I am perfectly. And then the K is I am minus 12. So it's all offsets of threes. And there were three teams there adding to love perfectly to glorify the eight, the great I am. And that is the word Trek, T-R-E-K. I own, I have a Trek bike. That's what God has provided for me to have in life. Um, and you can go on a Trek through nature and discover more of God's creatures and find out the names thereof and solve it for the great I am and then thank the great I am. Um, God wants to be thought about. He wants to be talked about. Um, that's why I make these movies. God wants to be thought about. He wants to be talked about. He wants to be known. And he wants to share his thoughts with you. Well, silence in your bedroom, in your sanctuary, anywhere you go, listening. A mind that is set upon God will hear from the Lord. You will hear from God. He, he will talk to you. And he will teach you more and more. Um, bike lane. I kid you not. I'm, I, folks, patience is a virtue. I appreciate every word that God gives. Because these words summarize so much for so many people. Bike lane parallels I am. KL 23. And then everything else knits together beautifully. Okay, 21 plus 9 plus 6, uh, 36. Bike lane is I am plus 36. Uh, this is mind-blowing. 
the word commercial and the word residential both have I am at the dead center. Uh, these words came to me while I was at the gym, which is why I wrote this down on a Fit for Life card that they had at the gym. I grabbed a pen and just start writing with God gives me a word and I recognize I write it down. So the word commercial and the word residential have I am at the dead center. So I testify by the living God that I've just solved every commercial area and every residential area to the glory of the great I am. The word area has I am at the dead center. And for the most part, most developed territory is either classified as commercial area or residential area. A place where work is done and business is performed and then a place where uh, individual families rest and dwell. Residential area, commercial area. Residential area. Anyways, and, but I actually had the word commercial um, like an advertisement on the TV. Okay, oh, a TV commercial. You know, God is, you know, everyone's trying to share what they've been given and that's good. It's a TV commercial. Commercial, so commercial has I am at the dead center wrapped in triple I am, which equals Jehovah. So commercial equals I am Jehovah. Oh, it's a commercial enterprise. Oh, I'm watching a commercial on TV. Glorious. But then I was, I was stunned by the fact that commercial and residential both contain I am at the center, dead center, with um, four letters on the left and the right, respectively, that, that um, you know, make beautiful offsets of threes, okay? And then, where I was thinking of other places, in the wilderness, same design. So you can live in a commercial area, a residential area, or a wilderness area. Wilderness, exact same. There's your I am at the dead center with four letters on the left, four letters on the right. Okay. You can go to a deserted area. And it puts I am at the dead center. Okay. A wilderness area is often a deserted area. You can go there, spend silent time, listening for the personal voice of God. Jesus did that all the time. Um... And then, of course, like I said, the word area has I am at the dead center flanked in two A's. Like, it's, it's pretty awesome. This was a great gem. I've always loved the introduction, ladies and gentlemen, especially when the announcers do it at the Olympic Games, because they always choose someone with a very beautiful voice and a very nice accent. And um, it just jumped out at me. Ladies and gentlemen, both parallel I am. Very beautifully, because we're all made in the image of God. But you ask yourself, why is that such a famous introduction? Like, those are, it's, it's the most common trio of words that a public speaker will address a gathering of people. Ladies and gentlemen, and um, amazingly, okay, ladies is I am plus 27, and gentlemen is I am plus 72. Perfect parallelism. It reminds me of the um, perfect parallelism between the word son and the word daughter. Son is 48, daughter is 84. Both divide by 12, different, with the same digits, just flipped. And um, both divide by 3, in fact. And of course, ladies, so ladies is I am plus 27. Gentlemen is I am plus 72. Okay? I believe that's to the glory of the great I am, who made all of us, ladies and gentlemen, in his image. Okay? So the math is perfect. When someone says, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for glorifying the I am, thank you for giving honor to all the people here who are made in his image, I-M-A-G-E, adds 12 points, and uh, it's for the great I am. Okay. So, um, I just, I love traveling through this universe, and a roundabout, a roundabout no less. I kid you not, I will testify that this roundabout that is brand new in our town, is on 203rd Street, which parallels I am. I'm not joking. God just, I insist on preaching the details. If God speaks to me in the moment, says, mention the fact that this roundabout is on 203rd Street. I do so. That's the accuracy of God. 203 parallels I am. In fact, it's the same digits as 23 I am. 203 Street, 203. In fact, that's where I got the, the gem bike lane. Because if you come to 203 Street in Langley, they did this fantastic bike lane project where there's two generous, perfectly paved bike lanes on either side of 203rd Street, and it, it's all beautifully done, all gorgeously signed and, and done well and, and slickly done and spacious and golden ratios and all this. And there's a very, like, a bar none perfect roundabout, you know, partway through the street. And uh, that's where I got these gems. You know, I, as far as I know, I'm the first person to solve roundabout for the glory of the great I am, so why don't I record the details of where I was? And additional gems 
if people want to follow in my steps. It's on 203 Street in Langley. Well, 203, parallels 23, same digits. <laughs> okay. In fact, 203 is I am plus holy, holy, holy. <laughs> it's I am plus 180. 23 plus 180 is 203. <laughs> God says I am. Holy, holy, holy. The worship of the angels, okay? Holy, holy, holy is the great I am, who was and is, is to come. So, I am, holy, 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 equals 203. 23 plus 180, same digits. So, I'm riding my bike up, you know, down 203 Street, and it is the most gorgeous bike, uh, bike lane on both sides of the street, residential street, that you may have ever seen in your life. And it has a perfect roundabout, complete with like all these cool gadgets, and you can turn the flashing lights on. It's very well done. Okay, <laughs> press the button to turn on the flashing light. Anyways, um, roundabout. Worship I am. Okay, there's your I am A B T, and then R O U is love, N D O U is love. Double love plus I am, and double love equals worship. So roundabout literally equals worship I am. The great I am. And how many roundabouts are there in this universe? So people, every time they see a roundabout, worship I am. Oh. And that's the key. Like, it, it, the key equals commensurate, but seriously, if you worship the I am, you love him, you desire him, you listen to him, uh, that's, that's the greatest commandment. And what happens when we obey the greatest commandment? I believe blessing flows like crazy, and God himself takes care of us, and miracles happen, and satisfying life happens. And blessing happens like crazy. When you, when you make it your goal to worship the great I am, that's the greatest commandment. Blessing flows. Like the, the, I never saw, the angels never stop worshiping the great I am. That's their homework. That's all they do. And they're probably the happiest creatures in the entire universe. And God certainly takes care of them. They certainly feel happy. So roundabout equals worship I am. And then UPS equals the I am, the famous company, United Parcel Service, also parallels I am. Dyson, I saw a Dyson fan at the gym, that equals Christ, equals I am love. And, uh, and then we, we want to connect with God, connect equals Jesus, equals great I am. Okay, you confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ, um, and that's the means by which God forgives you of all your sins, and then God comes and lives inside of you, all three of them, by their Spirit, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Okay? Um, and then, yeah, desire to grow no, more in the knowledge of God. That's amazing, though. We've solved every commercial area and every residential area in the history of the universe to the glory of the great I Am. As well as every commercial, you know, on television. Now, it, amazingly, as I was meditating on commercial, the word advertise came to my mind. There's nothing wrong with excellent, truthful advertising. And look at the root of the word advertise. It, it puts I am at the dead center. Again, the E-R. Okay. Just like in commercial. Commercial is also the root of a verb, like commercializing. Just like advertising. Well, advert, right up until the T, has that E-R, I am, at the dead center. And amazingly, uh, or excuse me, advertise. So advertising, advertised, advertiseth, advertisations, whatever. So at the front, you have three letters, A, D, V, three plus ones that add to 27, three times three times three. At the back, you have three letters, T, I, S, the word sit, 48, okay? Two teams of three, perfectly, on either side of I am. <laughs> In advertising, advertiseth, advertising, okay? As I speak right now, I am technically advertising the name of God. I am. That is the name that I am promoting. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, so that, that, those were profound revelations for me. Commercial, residential area, I am at the dead center of all of it. Um, if you want miracles in your life, you know, God is the God of the miraculous. We need to worship the I am. If you're longing for new things, if you're longing for more life, it all begins with appreciation. The word appreciate, just like the word advertise, has I am at the dead center. Like app 33, R-E, I am, and then um, I-A-T. In fact, disturbingly, the word appreciate is identical in its design to the word advertise. It's like, first I appreciate, 
the words that God gives me. Then I advertise them to the world. Flawless in their design. I appreciate. Three plus ones at the front, adding to 33. Advertise. Three plus ones at the front, adding to 27. Three times three times three. And then at the end you have of advertise, you have the word uh, T-I-S, sit, a one, a two, and a three. And at the end of the word, the root of appreciate, you have, um, oh, appreciate adds an extra nine. Excuse me, an extra nine bonus. Right. It goes nine higher. So it's a little extra bonus in appreciate. But that R-E is at the dead center for the glory of the great I am. Appreciate. Advertise. Just like, wow. Okay. Um, So, if you want to see miracles, if you want to see more of God, we need to worship the I Am. And this is worship. This study that we're doing, all this gematria, listening in silent prayer, to me, is perhaps the very highest form of worship. I personally believe that listening is the number one love language. Um, and that those who patiently listen for God for long amounts of time, in all due respect, uh, are bringing God exceedingly abundant pleasure. The word respect, of course, parallels I am. You knew that was coming. You knew, you always knew you loved the word respect. It has I am front and back. Um, but overall, it's I am plus 63. Yeah, I mean, it's R-E to begin, C-T to N, I am is at the front and back of respect. Respect is huge. It's so huge. But the question everyone is asking is, who do I respect the most? And who respects me the most? Because people will disappoint you for a lifetime. People will let you down at some point. But God, seek God's respect. If you earn God's respect, you've won. Okay? You've won it all. There's no one else who you need to be respected by other than God. Let's set the record straight on this, okay? I see all sorts of humans, even in this own household, I see all sorts of humans getting frustrated with each other hoping for someone to do something for them, hoping for some kind of respect to come from another human, hoping for something to come their way from someone else. Uh, of course, God uses people for the most part to make everything happen. Um, but God himself, respect the I am. Okay, Respect his names, respect his servants that serve his names, like I'm doing. Respect Gematria, respect this research, respect someone seeking God, respect someone sharing new information about God, respect, 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 respect the great I am. If we give incredible respect to the great I am, that's, that's foremost, that's, okay. I love that word, respect. So, and it starts and ends with I am. And then the word special comes to mind when I look at the letters respect, because special parallels I am. Everyone is made in the image of God. Everyone absolutely says, I am special. The word special is mathematically perfect to declare I am. And, um, but God, the I am, is the most special one of all of us. And uh, seek God. Make it your aim. The word aim equals I am. Make it your aim to seek and know the I am. Um, and if people hate your guts at some point along the way, who cares? They are here today and gone. Ooh, that's a good set of letters. Who cares? Sometimes you have to say that. Who cares is quadruple I am, perfectly. W, 23, H-O, 23, R-E, 23, C-A-S, 23. That's a profound wisdom right there. Who cares? Well, the great I am cares. Everyone's asking, who cares about me? Who cares about Derek? Who really cares about me? Who really, who cares about all the creation? Who cares about the animals? Who cares about the earth? Who cares about my eternal destiny? Who cares about my life, my thoughts? Who cares about all this stuff down here? Who cares? Well, the I am cares. W I am, H O I am, R E I am, C A S I am. So the whole thing equals I am Jehovah in order. Who cares? I am Jehovah. Jehovah cares. <laughs> Jehovah cares about you, he cares about your feelings, he cares about your honesty, he cares about your pain, he cares about your thirst, he cares about your dreams, he cares about your people, he cares about your country, he cares about your servants, he cares about your schools, he cares about your education system, he cares about your education, he cares about your knowledge of him, 
He cares about your worship. He cares about your love. And he certainly cares about the dictionary and the history books and the encyclopedia. He certainly cares about his story. He cares about his words. He cares about English to the detail. And so that's why, you know, we, we are so in love. Well, that's what God is revealing to me. I, I get more gematria from the Lord in silent prayer, the perfection of his words, mathematical, declaring I am. So we had that flood this morning. Just writing it down on, on four different pages all over the place. And, you know, this book, that words from the Lord, that all, all the animals. So, folks, here's a task for mankind. Go through every species, go through every flower, every plant, every animal, every name and find all the 23s, find all the names of God ordained by heaven for his glory and all the names of all the creatures named. We started start with all the obvious ones this morning. Lion, tiger, bear, very obvious 23s, giraffe, 23s, gorilla equals great I am if I recall properly. And you know, cricket, triple I am from the inside out. And now you can get into the scientific names if you want, but just go through all of them. It's a treasure hunt that is, of course, more than big enough for everyone. There's still new species being discovered and named. You, you could call a new species, I am who I am. That would be a great God-pleasing name. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would go there. I mean, that name belongs to God. But <laughs> you could call it, you know, the creature created by the great I am. That would be a, a pretty good, accurate name for a new insect or something. Um, but uh, Earth contains I am, you know, um, and on and on and on it comes. Okay, so um, this is Revelation. You know, every word is accurate. God's gematria is accurate. Um, but it's God's favorite, one of the God's favorite things to do is surprise the socks off people. Of course, surprise is I am love plus bonus 30. Um, but just, he's promised it's going to be surprising. That's the pure pleasure of it all. You go into this world, God is sovereign over your day. You're going to see new things. You're going to learn new words about new things. You're going to see new signs with letters that just like, oh my gosh, there's God's name. Like just there, 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 GMC van. Oh, I am. <laughs> roundabout, I am. Worship, I am. A roundabout. Roundabout equals worship I am. Flow. The flow of traffic. Flow equals the I am. Folks, I'm here to say, if all of this was taught to everyone worldwide, if all of this was taught in all of our schools, can you imagine? I can imagine. The word imagine starts with I am and parallels I am. You know, G-I-N divides by three. Imagine how blessed this world would be if every child was educated in Gematria and that it's all for the great I am. And we understood that words were perfect and belonged to them. And we gave them worship and we gave them our words and we gave them our minds and we worshiped Father, Son, and Holy Ghost day and night in all of our schools, young and old. We would have more blessing than the kingdom of Solomon. We would have so much free time. We would have so much prosperity. We would have so much love. We would have so many friends. We would have so many worshipers. We would have so much pleasure from God. We would have so much freedom, liberality. There would be so much abundance, kindness everywhere, prosperity. People would be feeling great. People would have power over temptation, health. We'd be cleansing the temple. We'd be getting junk out of this country. People would be led from within. They'd have personal relationship with God. Everyone would be going to heaven. And kingdom. we'd have a happy kingdom. We'd have the kingdom of God like never before and um, on earth as it is in heaven. I'm about to run out of memory chip, but I see a future where if everyone was educated in Gematria, equals great I am, equals English, equals Jesus, and understood God's sovereignty and his perfection over the history books. Um, when everyone is a close worshiper of God, uh, I mean, first of all, you're satisfied and as happy as you've ever been and uh, you're going to heaven, and God's blessing flows like, like never before. So, this is all for the glory of God. Um, these revelations, find I am 23 in all the names of everything under heaven, including people's names.